Yes, good evening. How are you? I'm okay. Okay, and before starting our conversation, we have to give you a short introduction to each other, right? Yes. So my name okay. is Ojaswi. I am nine Ojaswi. years old. What? Ojaswi. Yes. Okay. That's I am nine years old, and okay. I some of my hobbies are drawing, running, skating, swimming, and some others. And in which class you are studying? Fifth. In fifth. Yes. That's great. Okay, I am giving my introduction as well. Myself, Ranjit Singh. I I am from Rajasthan and I am central government employee. And right now I am posted in West Bengal. My educational qualification is post graduation. And now I am I am on spoken English journey. That's all about me. So, when did we start to learn spoken English? Uh, so I think that in my in my like personal experience, what I've been doing for all for most of my uh, English speaking, like I just go to YouTube and I just only watch English shows and stuff like that, and with captions also because a lot of the time they use many advanced words that we don't know. So with with without captions, a lot of the time I'm like, what are they speaking? I don't understand. And so that way I can like go into the captions and then I can see what they are speaking. So then I can re research on that word and then I can start using that same word in my daily like talks. Oh, so if you one thing I've uh, noticed a lot is even if you're learning like any language, like whether it's English or not, you if, even if you like spend some of your time, most of your time, like whatever you, any content you're watching or like listening to, you just uh, if you only listen to like that same language, it's really going to improve your skills. No, oh, that's great. That means you are learning everything uh, by YouTube with captions, right? Yes. But I've been doing it for a few years now, and I have seen how much improvement there is. Obviously, from school, I've learned a lot, but from home, like just, just like only watching English shows is a is the key right now because it it is so helpful because I can just easily learn so many new words just by watching and listening, and like especially and. I don't just watch English Indian shows. I also watch American shows. Like most of the time, I watch American shows only. And because of this, now I'm I I'm able to like develop a better like accent. And now I'm able to even sing many different words that most people don't know. Oh, that's great! In a little age, you are you can speak in so many other versions, and you are also watching American version like this. It's great yes, opportunity, and you are. And you are speaking very well. I think that you have improved a lot. And in Thanks. upcoming couple of days, couple of months, you will be able to speak very fluently in a better way. You can do something good for your future. It's a good you thing. Speaking very well. And uh, I think you uh, have you taken how many sessions you have taken like this? I think I've taken two. Oh, that's great. And uh, why do you want to? Uh, can you tell me that about your perception? Don't go in a same rut of my word. Mm, why the English spoken English language is important nowadays? Say because, what do you think? Because it's just a global language now. Even if you don't know the native language of some place, you can go to any place and talk to anyone there. Because most people these days know English, whether it's on a good level or not. Everyone speaks English these days. Like we also speak our native language, obviously Hindi, but we mostly nowadays we only use English because I think that in the future we're only going to use English and like I know that learning language is a fun thing, but I think that like uh, this like the way we are going right now, I think that English will be the last language we'll have because it's like a global language and everyone knows it by now. And then, like if we talk about some other language like German, like most people don't know it because it's a native kind of language and learning different languages can be pretty hard. So yeah, that's what I think. And mostly yeah, these days, exactly. everything is in English. Like I do see like small billboards with English and Hindi, but most of the time everything is in in English only. Oh, that's great! You did good answer, and because you told that the German person 
can speak only german we cannot speak in german and uh, german people can also speak in english as well so uh, to connect with those people uh, the english is must language Yes, right. because nowadays it's a global language, and English is also a very easy language to learn. Because nowadays most of the language that we speak are actually made out of Latin, and Latin is also like English is made out of Latin also. And uh, yeah, so like even German, most of the lang, uh, most of the letters there are made out of Latin letters only. So it is much easier for us. But like that's just a small little thing. Oh, that's great. And uh, what's your dream? What do you want to become in your life? When I grow up, I want to become a software engineer. Why do you want to go only in this field? Uh, any reason? Very like cool that I can just like create different thing. Dif- I can create different games and like different different videos and stuff like that. And then like I can just do absolutely nothing for like a few days. I can do something else, maybe develop some other skills, and I can still get money from it. Because these days most people are very bored and they just like going on to Play Store or App Store and they just download anything and they start playing. Because it's very like most times people are now like they only watch phones and there's not much to do these days. So like people just play games a lot. So like and a lot of the time people. People get greedy and they just think, okay, I can spend my money on this game. It doesn't matter. And then you can still get money from that. And I find it very fun and like cool because that way I can just I can also do my work, but I also can develop other skills. Like after also having like like side hustles by the like that, and so that I can have like my actual job. And sometimes I can do some other skill jobs, something like that. Oh, that's great. And. Uh... <laughs> If you, uh, what's your plan B? If you will not uh, become software engineer in your future, then what's your plan B? What will you become? I would, I get. I think that is a very hard question because I never really thought about it. But I think that I would be very well if in in the entertainment industry because I think that I'm very good at singing and dancing. Not like dancing because I can sing very well. I think that I can sing very well. I don't know about dancing or anything like that. But I think that I can sing very well. So I think that I could go if I wanted. Then I think I could go in the entertainment industry if I had a plan. Which type and of uh, songs do you sing? And like other than that, I would I could also become a teacher. I think that's great. Teacher's job is also good because you can uh, teach something to do good in their life. And uh, no, which type of songs uh, do you sing? I like singing Western songs. Western songs. Yes. Okay, that's it. And uh, do you uh, study in English medium school, right? Yes, yes. Then nowadays we are not sending our children in uh, Hindi medium school, and everyone is sending their children in English medium yes, school. It's not, it's not just like the old India now; it is like a global India now because everyone here, like whether you go any, like anywhere you go, everyone is like just being, just talking in English, and not most of the time people these days don't even talk in their native language like i've even seen some people that only talk in english with their even like like close family and that is insane but i, I do like talking in english to my friends and stuff like that but like i i think there's there's a lot of de- deterioration and uh, like yeah like wait a lot of determination to like talk in english with your friends and family because most of the time we just we just talk very casually with our friends and family especially our close family But to become global, to become global, China is not doing, uh, uh, not preferring the English language to connect What? with global. China, I am talking about China. That you are saying that to become global, uh, we are going with the English language, spoken English language. But China is not doing the same because in China, most of people speaks in Chinese, uh, Chinese, and they don't uh, enforce the English language on their people. 
I think the reason why is because like they want to keep their own like strategies by themselves because because American and stuff like that we all speak in English. So what they do is just they keep their like the secrets and all of that stuff close behind the doors of learning their own languages like Chinese and Mandarin so that like they can keep the secrets by themselves because if you know something about Chinese government is that like they really like they're like creative geniuses. Because like they can do so many things and they just hide it so that no one can find out. And with it, with the language barrier that they mostly don't speak in English and they mostly speak in Chinese or Mandarin or whatever language, that way like they can just they can completely hide these things and just keep progressing without anyone finding out about how like these different things that they're doing. Yes, and. Uh... We are emphasizing more English language in our country. Then it is not like that. We are going towards Western culture. We are accepting Western culture. Everything we are accepting because what is modern? We are just call uh, calling modern uh, towards Western things. Means we are uh, over whole generation is going towards Western culture. Everything we are accepting from Western, and that in our mind we take it as uh, we are developing like this. I think that uh, the best way that every country can develop by itself is to all like keep its culture like the actual like core culture that has been like going on for thousands of years like like India we wear sarees and kurtis and stuff like that but like we should like like we're obviously developing more to the modern side so that we can actually like, develop it become a global country that people like going to it this is a go- good country basically and i think that if we like if we keep this core culture to just like not like completely core culture like some modern like most like like look like uh, maybe like 60% modern and 40% our own culture because every country can't be the same because we all need like our own core culture like every country has their own different type of like, cul- like cultures like we- what they wear what they eat and what they speak but like these days every every country is is every country is just like going towards like the american concept of whatever it is and that way like no country can really have a different culture and and like the things that, like there's a lot of difference between like the cultures of different places and it's very interesting so i hope that like in the future somewhere in the future we don't just like completely forget about our core culture and like we actually develop some like we need to there are some attachment to our core culture that also have some modern culture which i like because that way we can also show our country as its one own okay then how can you define yourself that uh, our country is uh, developing our country is getting modernizing like this how can you define it modernization and developed countries i think that about that i don't really like have an opinion about that okay no i just want to ask that uh, if you uh, take it about yourself that uh, 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 if you uh, want to look in a developed state to you, then what changes do you want to keep in yourself? Do you want to make in yourself? It's that to balance out most things because a lot of the time, I'm not just talking about myself, I'm talking about most people because like a lot of time, most people just don't, they just do like, they aren't con- like, um, they aren't like, consistent in whatever they do like they they spend way too much time doing one skill and then they forget about the other and then the other skill does not develop at all and while the uh, while the skill that they will practice it does develop but the thing is it just keeps developing while the other one keeps decaying into the into obscure and i don't like that because like if you if you have time like if you can divide your time into like different like sections for different things and that is like very good because that way you can be consistent in whatever you do so now you can like develop many different kinds of skills at the same time and be able to just like be be able to express it rather than be like okay i'm going to do only this and i'm going and then after this i do this because more of the time like whenever we learn anything it takes a lot of time and if you just continue doing only one thing for a really long time then you forget about others like other things that it's not really a good thing because that way you're just sitting there and doing only one thing that and it doesn't do much with other skills yeah you are planning very well all the things you are using your own 
way and your own thought process. It's uh, very. Do you want to ask anything else? Mm, what if you ever had to? If you ever had a like, if you were in the shoes of any famous person, like let's say Jeff Bezos, like he's the owner of Amazon. Let's say if you were like any famous person that you like, any actress or anything like that. Like if you were in any day, you were like, if, like if you woke up as any like famous person, like what would you do, and like why would you do it? Okay, I I like the. Swami Vivekananda and Swastan Bose, because uh, spirituality of Swami Vivekananda, I like a lot, and the way in which manner the Swastan Bose worked and uh, have done something for our country, I like the most. So, like, let's say if you woke up one day and you suddenly saw that you are Sebastian Bose or like any other role model or idol of yours, then what would you do? That means I will see to myself in that role. Yes, if you see yourself in the same situation that that person is, like any famous person, like what would you do first? Like, what were your decisions at that point? In sudden, <laughs> during the morning, if I will see myself as a Subhastan the boss, then uh, are you asking for a day or for long uh, term strategy? If I was any celebrity, and uh, I would probably be any type of actor or actress because, and I would try finding a movie role because, like, uh, like just try like just being a being a type of actor in some way because like having experience is very fun all the time because you obviously have what you do most of the time and then you have like random stuff that you just do and you have fun in that. So I think that would be very fun like training for any like movie and then just having fun like doing something different because. Most of the time, no one is going to like go out of their comfort zone and just become an actor randomly. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I was actually, it's time for my dinner. Okay. Because I was in hurry and I corrected with you again. I'm getting some WhatsApp messages again and again for call. So okay, I hope I can have another conversation with you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much to you. Thank you bye so bye. much also. Thank you. Bye.